Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's a pleasure. It's a great and mighty honor to be out here in nature and greeting you, knowing that I'm fully connected where I'm sitting right here. You know, I'm not wearing any shoe, you know, because I want to be grounded and well connected, bringing this message of truth to you, this message of love to you, this message of finding your true identity and coming into true, prosperous, paris, true prosperity, okay, because I'm bringing a message of self-realization to you that if you would put it to work in your life, that you will come to prove this is nothing but the truth. Now, with that said, my brother and my sister, I want to speak to you concerning the Garden of Eden. And before I mention to you what the Garden of Eden is really speaking about, the first thing I want to explain to you is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically that the Bible is not literal neither is the Bible secular history and that the Bible was written symbolically and that the Hebrew language has been a mystical language it was not a language that you explore with the breath but it was a mystical symbolic language and it takes people who are mystics to explain it to you because they would have to have the experience and they would become the living book interpreting the written book. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say to you that everything that I'm saying to you is based on what I would have experienced. I am not speaking theory. I am speaking my own biography. Okay? That's, that's, why, that's the reason why uh, I will never come across to you as an intellectual because I'm only telling you of my experience just as you would read the scriptures and those who would have put it together they're telling you of their experience uh, experiences even though they would have taken writings from books that were even before the Bible still when you understand the Bible psychologically you would realize the law of mentalism and when you understand the law of mentalism then you will understand how to interpret the Garden of Eden and to know that the Garden of Eden is speaking about your mind. It is speaking about the place above your shoulder and it is speaking of the place that you would sow all of your thoughts and that your thoughts, they all would grow and they would blossom and they would bring forth fruit. Thus the reason why the Bible tells you, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the Garden of Eden is not a place in the Middle East. Because basically East is speaking about within. Okay? The Garden of Eden that was given to man for man to till the ground and to prune the land and to take care of the land is the mind of man that man was given and man was given a choice whether to dwell on negative thoughts or positive thoughts thus the reason why my brother and my sisters whatever you sow in the physical earth is gonna bring back to you because it is impartial and whatever you sow in the womb of a woman she will bring back to you. Thus the reason why I refer to the earth as Mother Earth. So a woman can bring forth a child for a Chinese man, a Japanese man, an Indian man, a white man, a black man. Any kind of man that sows in her womb, she will bring back a child for that, that man. But my brother and my sisters, many understand this law in the physical world but few understand it in the psychological and spiritual world thus the reason why many fail to understand that when the Bible speaks about the Garden of Eden that is speaking about your mind and that you have to be careful of whichever thought 
that you are showing in your mind which is saying that you have to know what what seed you're sowing in your garden because whatever you seed that you sow in your garden is gonna bring back that fruit for you and whatever thoughts that you sow in your mind that is what you're gonna bring back now you have to also understand that you have a a conscious mind and a subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is impartial is impartial and impersonal whatever you show in the subconscious mind it will bring back to you okay so whenever you impress the subconscious mind with anything the subconscious mind will download it and bring it back to you thus the reason why my brother my sisters my teaching to you is that the Bible addresses your, the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. Therefore, you must look within yourself to discover the kingdom of God. And when you discover the kingdom of God, you will discover also the secret of creation. And when you discover the secret of creation, then you will discover also the secret of the Garden of Eden and when you discover the secret of the Garden of Eden to be right within you, then you will know what seed to sow and you will know what, what, what fruit to eat from and what life to bring forth. So my brother, my sisters, in short, what I'm saying to you is that the greatest mystery upon the face of this earth can never be known intellectually, that it must be experienced. And it's the only true experience that you will experience that your mind is the garden of Eden and your thoughts are the seeds that you would sow and would mean whatever fruit that you would bring forth from your garden. So now you understand that the garden of Eden is your mind. You have to guard your mind with the thoughts that you are going to encourage or the thoughts that you're going to embrace in your mind thus the reason why the bible tell you be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you have to learn to renew your garden you have to learn to till your garden and sow the right seed in your garden also the bible tells you whatsoever things that are good whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely if there be any virtue in them that you must think on these things. It is teaching you how to attend to your garden and how to take care of your garden and how to sow in your garden. It is your vineyard. It is the vineyard of God. That's the reason why the Bible tells you about Elijah and the false prophets and Mount Carmel. And Mount Carmel just means the the vineyard of God which is basically speaking of the mind the mind of man so in here is the command center and the commander resides in the command center but the commander is invisible so when I speak about about, about about Adam and Eve which I don't want to get into at this time it is speaking about the cosmic Christ uh, the cosmic one that is in you that would enable you to achieve or create your reality consciously because everything has to first be a thought and a thought is an electrical spark it's like an atom and it's gonna come into a hardened objected fact so my brother my sister i just want to encourage you to watch your thinking and what what you are encouraging in your mind because the real true god of eden is your mind and always remember as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so with that being said my brother my sister i want to encourage you to continue to support this work by supporting my ebooks and to support this work also on Patreon and for those of you who would like to learn more about interpreting the Bible psychologically and teaching others how to use the divine law of the Bible to create their reality consciously 
you can donate 50 or more dollars on my Patreon and I will get in touch with you and expound these things more perfectly to you and up to the point that you can teach others also so that we can get this message all around the world to melanated people so as long as you donate 50 or more dollars I would give you my number and we, we, we can, uh, would be able to speak from time to time you know and I would teach you much more things that you can apply in your life and prove this principle to work in your life and be able to teach others also so at this time I also want to give you the sign the sign of true enlightenment of which Matthew 6 22 tells you if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and I'm saying to you my brother and my sisters that when you discover this truth of Matthew 6 22 you will come to realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day and as the sun rises in you you will come to realize that without the S-U-N there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made and that the human imagination parallels the sun and we are the people of the sun therefore let us use our mind power to achieve our every desire so with that being said I want to say peace Love you. I'm out.